And I said, let there be light. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy, Kimbo here. And it is time for an extremely epic Bakugan unboxing video. You already know by the title. It's wild, dude. Managed to get it. I still can't believe it. And yeah, enough said. It's this bad boy right here. Check it out. The Armored Alliance Diamond Gillator Ultra Starter Pack. So this three pack, man. It looks so, so sick. Like, holy freaking crap. Uh, yeah, so this is, I guess, like the second uh, Diamond three pack for uh, Armored Alliance. And it just looks absolutely, absolutely amazing, man. I totally bit my tongue. But... Yeah, dude, look at Gillator, and then we got Auxilator, and also Cycloid there. Dude, this is the second time we got an Arliss Diamond, and it just looks so amazing. Obviously, the first being Trino, and now Auxilator. Yeah, dude, they all just look so, so amazing. I'm just honored to even have this pack, dude. Like, yeah, look at the artwork for all of them, man. There's Auxilator, there is Gillator right there, and then Cycloid, and they all look so sick as diamonds, and you know the Diamond Evos have to pack a serious punch for sure. But yeah, not all Diamond Evos do, but uh, these three, they're all really strong, so hopefully uh, they do. But yeah, man, so just look at the renders for them, man. Diamond Gillator Ultra, Diamond Auxilator, which has got to look amazing. That's got to be the gold on the wings. Oh, my gosh. And then Diamond Cycloid. Just so, so wild, dude. But yeah, we got the Ultra, Bakugan, uh, cores, ability cards, character cards, training card, instruction sheet, all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get into it, dude. Holy crap. I don't know if anybody's actually uh, reviewed this uh, on YouTube yet, but... Yeah, dude, so, I'm one of the first, I'm just freaking honored, dude, I'm honored for sure, and just this old packaging, you know, I mean, just, like, the old way packaging with, like, the curves and such, but, yeah, it's a little hard to, like, get it open, so kind of got to reptar it, there we go, okay, so, got that, boom, boom, get the cores up out of there, all right, and then, good garbage, that. And then, gotta get Cycloid, get Auxilator, oh my gosh, dude, the freaking gold on it makes it pop, and also the black, man, I hope there's a little bit of silver on it, too, it's just such an awesome looking diamond, dude, Auxilator is one of my favorite core Bakugan for this season, and it's diamond, looks amazing, that's for sure, all three of these diamonds look absolutely phenomenal, alright, so, gotta get that tape. I don't know where my scissors are, so yeah. Alright. There we go. I guess we'll look at this sheet just to see if like they added anything. I'm not sure if they did, because I think like, uh, Gillator and such were already on here for their, uh, diamonds. Yeah. So it seems like they probably just added, like, some more factions. But yeah, no big time new uh, Bakugan. I mean, we've seen every Bakugan on this list, except for, uh, except for C-Moga. But yeah, um, it's going to be really, really cool to see that. Odds are they're going to have, like, Seymour review it first, which, I mean, would make sense because, you know, it's modeled after him anyways because, you know, he won the first uh, Invitational. But yeah, dude, world champion. There we go. All right, so now let's get into the cores. We'll get into the cores first. Get that little bit of fuzzy out of there. Um, we got plus 100 for the shield. Okay, not the best shield, but it's a core. You know, plus 250, that's a pretty good one. Uh, plus 150, plus 1 for that shield. Also, not the absolute best. Minus 200, a little bit of a trap for your opponent. Uh, minus 200, plus 5, another trap. A lot of trap cores in here. And then plus 200. So, yeah, honestly, like, core-wise, they're not the greatest cores, you know. But a lot of uh, shields in here, that's for sure. So, yeah, man. Um, then we got uh, the card right here. So... You see all the diamonds right there. You can see Chox. You can see Drago. I wonder if for the next wave they're going to switch it up or if they're just going to keep it as, like, Chox and Drago for this card. If so, you know, it would make sense. But, uh, now, let us get into the actual Bakugan, man. It is hype. Big time hype. So, I guess first things first, we'll get into Gillator since it's the one that's open. Diamond Gillator Ultra. Look at all the clear, dude. Plus the bit of red for the center of the body. Got the little uh, plastic strip there. Get that crap out of here. Um, got the green 
for the feet. And then we got like some red paint, some orange paint, a little bit of green up there. We got the Pyrus faction symbol with the gold looking so awesome, dude. But just in general as a diamond, it looks so amazing, man. It's going to look so sick in the ball form, the closed ball form. But yeah, the red for the jaw just looks absolutely fantastic. It looks so, so great. So way to close it. Uh, let's see. Got to get the head back. Roll the body up a little bit. Arms in, legs in. And then, um, maybe it'll just close like that. It's got to separate the legs a bit. But, yeah, I know it's close. Just had to roll it up a little more. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I just had to roll it up a little bit more. But there is Diamond Gillator Ultra, dude. It looks so, so good. I love the paint application they used for this. It looks really, really great, man. All right, so next up, the other two diamonds, which just look absolutely phenomenal all right so we'll start off with a uh, cycloid so there it is in the closed ball form got the orange that bit of red for the paint the orange paint right there a little bit of gold like with the arrow and such but yeah dude overall just looks so so good and then there's the pirate symbol with the gold now it's time for that opening action three two one and bakugan brawl hey and got it let's see if it's strong enough to pick up two um no it doesn't seem like it, it can pick up one core yeah, if it does have a shield and has some pretty decent uh, B-Power, shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, man, there it is. Diamond Cycloid looking so cool. It's got the green eye, a bit of red around, uh, you know, the head and such. Red strip right there. It's B-Power is 300. Um, then we got the red for the tail, orange on the arms, all that good stuff, man. So yeah, overall looks really, really sick as a diamond, dude. And even the artwork render for it looks so awesome. So head in. Arms in, and then, yeah, the tail in and stuff, yeah. And that's how you close it, so Diamond Cycloid. So awesome, man. I wonder if they're going to make, um, if they're going to do a Cycloid Ultra. But yeah, and also Auxilator. Um, but yeah, Auxilator already looks amazing uh, as is, but yeah. And speaking of which, Diamond freaking Auxilator. The second RLS Diamond we've gotten, like I said, the first one being the Core Trino. Um, and it just looks so amazing, man. The horn's black, and then you can see on the wings there's black, and that gold, that metallic gold really makes it pop in all the clear. It looks so, so amazing. I wonder if there's any silver. Did they use any silver on the outside? Not much, it seems. So, yeah, but definitely the gold and the black make it pop big time, dude. It looks so, so awesome in the ball form. So now it's time to open it up. Three, two, one, and Bakugan Brawl. Get that spin roll. Ah, uh, curved right in front of the course. Let's try this again. Nope. <laughs> all right you know gotta add that challenge factor oh man it wanted it there we go okay so there it is man diamond auxilator it looks so good dude it looks so so good gotta get that horn you know but yeah all right here we go so uh there's the horn it looks so sick man like auxilator just in the ball form even looks so amazing man it's like kind of looks like drago's cousin kind of because i mean just like the the crazy spiky dragon design for it just so so cool man but the wings the gold and black on those wings looks so amazing man and then the arliss faction symbol right there all the clear the little bit of black and also the black for the horn and in the mouth looks so so great man it's just an absolutely amazing diamond, dude. All of these diamonds are, you know. They're really killing it with the diamonds. They always have, and I mean, they're just up in that quality that much more for the diamond Bakugan. It's just so wild, dude. I'm honored to have this bag, that's for sure. These things are gems, man. They look so good. But, yeah. So the way to close it, pretty simple. Uh, You know, put the horn in. uh, Put the body back. Uh, feet up, wings in, and then the back part. Close that tail. And that's how you close Auxilator, dude. Just so sick in the ball form. It's so amazing, man. Diamond Auxilator looking like a boss. They all look like absolute bosses. All right, so now time for the cards. Gonna zoom out a little bit for this. Okay, so for Diamond Auxilator, it's four cost, B power, 600 damage of 10, so mainly focusing on the damage with it. Like I said, I hope they put in some more damage back cards, like, you know, like Midas Indias and Mac, you know. I know some people are afraid of, like, a way of, like, countering them. I mean, you've got, like, cards like Blinding Ink and such, 
which stop action cards, which stop some action cards. But yeah, maybe having some that are specific for like B power and such like B power damage, like switch when somebody goes for it, you know, maybe some more negate cards or something like that. But yeah, definitely want to see some more damage deck cards put in because damage decks can definitely throw things off if your opponent isn't ready for it. So yeah, and that artwork for Auxilator looks so cool, dude. Looks really, really awesome. Then we've got Diamond Gilator Ultra, five cost, B power of thirteen hundred damage of seven. So it definitely uh, packs a punch for sure. You get Song of Fire, and then you can get this guy out right away. Uh, yeah, you know, just really, really strong. And that artwork for Gilator, just so awesome, Moon Man. Wow, Moon Man, Diamond Gilator just looks so sick. And then we got Diamond Cycloid, 6 cost, B power of 1,000, damage of 13. So pretty good B power with it. Also big time damage and 6 cost, you know, it's a little bit up there. But still, you can make it work. Um, just looks so cool, man. All the artwork for them, for the diamonds, just so awesome. And then we've got the actual character cards. So uh, Cycloid, 307, has the regular shields with it. So we can get up to like 700 right away, 707. Um, and then the artwork for it looking really, really sick. Um, then we got Auxilator, 306, double shield as well, so we can get up to, like, uh, 600. I really hope, you know how they're doing, like, the the cores that have, like, you know, Pyrus and Chaos or such, like, double factions getting uh, a 400 B-Power boost? I hope they do so for Arliss, you know, because, yeah, definitely could use, like, a little bit of a buff for sure um, in that department. So, yeah, then it could get up to, like, 700, but right now it can get up to 600, 606. But yeah, Diamond Auxilator, that Evo 4, definitely more useful for like a damage deck. Um, and then we got Gilator here. So B power 400 damage of 6, has a Helix and also the regular shield with it. But that Helix makes it where it can reach 1,000. It can get 1,000, like 1,003 right away. So yeah, pretty strong. It breaks 1,000. But uh, yeah, man, and that artwork for Gilator looking so, so sick. All right, so last but not least, we got the opening action for diamond gilator ultra man Let's see if i can get it on the first roll all right here we go three two one bakugan bro hey got it yo it tried to land but if it landed that way an actual brawl yeah two cores right away like the ultras usually have really strong magnets so they can pick up two some can even pick up three if you get a crazy wombo combo and pick up four you're you're, you're, you're just like a Baku God or something. <laughs> Baku God. <laughs> Get it? But anyways, um, Diamond Gilator Ultra looking like an absolute beast, man. It just looks so, so sick. They all look so amazing as diamonds. They're all really, really awesome Bakugan. And I'm just honored to even have this pack, dude. So, yeah. Um, but with that, that is basically everything for this unboxing on this absolutely insane and epic Bakugan Art Alliance. Diamond Gilator Ultra 3-pack. I'm so honored to have this in my collection, dude. My diamond collection grows. Uh, yeah. At the current moment, caught up with the diamonds, except I'm missing, uh, like, Enoch and Nilius, which they're both really, like, <laughs> really, really rare. I mean, if you have the Easter display, um, at your local Walmart, if you go out, obviously be safe. Um, but... If you have other displays there, I don't know if they have the Easter displays anymore, but if they're there, definitely go and check because they have some Wave 2 Bakugan in there and you might find a diamond. That's where some people have found uh, Diamond Nilius. And yeah, man, and also Enoch. If you manage to find Diamond Enoch, yeah, definitely pick it up too because it's rare as well. But yeah, and if you find this, yeah, you already know. <laughs> you know, find a diamond, pick it up, but don't be a scalper if you have it already, you know. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, until next time, it is your boy, Kimbo, signing off. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay awesome. And Bakugan Brawl, I'm up out of here.